Asteroids may seem like just giant space rocks, but they're actually key to understanding the early solar system. And they may even possibly hold the future for us in space. Some asteroids are the size of a car, and others are as large as cities. Asteroids are scattered throughout the solar system, and some come alarmingly close to Earth. On the flip side, asteroids have a lot of valuable resources that we might even be able to mine one day. So in today's video, we're going to explore asteroids, what they are, why they're so important, and the cutting edge missions that are helping us understand and even protect ourselves from these ancient cosmic rocks. So an asteroid is a space rock that's larger than one meter across, but not so big that it has become rounded by its own gravity, like a planet would be. Most asteroids are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think of the asteroid belt, I picture something like this chaotic scene from Star Wars. In reality though, if you were flying through the asteroid belt, you would have to travel hundreds of thousands of kilometers just to spot another asteroid. It is so vast and spread out that it's actually mostly empty space. So speaking of Mars, did you know that its two moons, Phobos and Deimos, are actually captured asteroids themselves? They likely came from the asteroid belt long ago, and while they're small and irregularly shaped, they've become permanent companions to the red planet. I've got a whole video exploring these strange little moons if you're interested. But asteroids aren't just far off objects in the asteroid belt. Sometimes they come much closer to the Earth, and many government organizations track these space rocks carefully. Small asteroids just a few meters across hit the Earth every few years, causing some minor damage. Like in Russia in 2013, or in the Philippines recently in 2024. And about every century or so, a medium-sized asteroid a few dozen meters wide hits Earth with the power of a nuclear bomb, just like what flattened thousands of square kilometers of forest in Siberia in 1908. Of course, the real concern are those city-sized asteroids, the ones that are bigger than one kilometer across. If one of those hits the Earth, it's going to be a bad day. Just ask the dinosaurs. Oh wait! One near-Earth asteroid that we're watching really closely right now is Apophis, which is going to pass alarmingly close to Earth in just five years, 2029. NASA has deemed it the most hazardous asteroid that we currently know about. If you've ever been on one of those really large cruise ships, that's about the size of Apophis. Current data predicts that while it'll be close, it won't hit us. But asteroids are really hard to predict, and their trajectories do change. So, scientists are monitoring this trajectory very closely. We should know by 2027 if Apophis is going to hit Earth. And if so, where exactly? Now this is not a planet-killing asteroid, but it would create an explosion greater than any nuclear bomb that has ever been made. It would be very bad, and would affect everyone here on Earth. Now the thought of a large asteroid hitting the Earth is enough to make anyone nervous, but scientists and space agencies are already working on ways to protect the planet from a potential impact. This field is called planetary defense, and it involves tracking potentially hazardous asteroids and preparing for strategies to deflect them, not blow them up, crucially. One of the most exciting developments in planetary defense is NASA's DART mission, and it successfully tested the idea of hitting an asteroid in order to change its trajectory. In 2022, DART slammed into a small asteroid, slightly nudging its orbit around a larger asteroid. The goal was not to destroy it, but to show that we can change an asteroid's trajectory. DART successfully changed the targeted asteroid's trajectory. If an Earth-threatening asteroid was discovered, this technique could be used to deflect it. And there are asteroids that are incredibly far away, like Arakoth, an asteroid in the Kuiper Belt the size of a small city. Arakoth was visited by NASA's New Horizons spacecraft in 2019, a few years after the probe flew by Pluto. You can learn more about that mission with my video here. Arakoth is a contact binary, meaning it's made of two different asteroids which gently merged in the early solar system, providing a rare look at the pristine building blocks of planets. Its reddish surface is coated in organic compounds, and scientists have even discovered glucose there, a sugar. Believe it or not, if you licked Arakoth, it would actually taste sweet. Who knew? We've had a few missions which collected samples from asteroids too. In 2020, OSIRIS-REx collected a sample from the asteroid Bennu, making it the very first US mission to return asteroid material to Earth. In 2023, OSIRIS-REx safely landed on Earth, loaded with rocks from Bennu, and scientists have been studying them ever since. Asteroids aren't just scientifically valuable though. They could also play a really big role in the future of space exploration. Some asteroids contain precious metals like platinum, nickel, and gold, and there's a growing interest in asteroid mining. Companies and governments are looking into the possibility of mining asteroids for resources, which could be used in space construction, or they could even be brought back to Earth. This is basically the plot of the show For All Mankind in Season 4. The idea is that by mining asteroids, we might significantly boost the economy here on Earth. 
Asteroid mining is really still in the planning stages, but it's exciting to think that one day these ancient space rocks might fuel humanity's exploration of the solar system. Asteroids are more than just rocky bodies floating in space. They're windows into the past. They can be potential threats to us, and they might even provide resources for our future. From missions like OSIRIS-REx bringing back asteroid samples to planetary defense strategies like DART, we are learning so much about these objects every single day. Who knows, the next giant leap in space exploration might come from studying, deflecting, or even mining asteroids. So if you're fascinated by all this, by space exploration in general, make sure you hit that subscribe button. On this channel, I explore space missions, discoveries, and the incredible things that we are learning about our universe right here on Digital Astronaut. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.